home inspection is a high liability, in-depth, multi-disciplined analysis of a home conducted under adverse conditions in front of a demanding audience, requiring the generation of an incredibly detailed report prepared in an unrealistically short time frame for an inconceivably low fee. Now, while you're done chuckling, you need to think about that simply because all of these components will come in during the process of your home inspection. Your clients have an expectation of you, and it's not always reasonable. They think you are there to find everything wrong with the house. I ask you, is that reasonable? The problem with these kinds of homes is you get lulled into a false sense of security thinking, wow, they really take care of this home, and you start letting down your guard. That's the worst possible thing you can do as an inspector. The entire garage was tilting. The soil obviously has been undermined, and the gutters were actually placed too far under the overhang. Deferred maintenance is a, a fantastic term that you can put in so many places in your inspection report. This can lead to a fairly devastating effect. So you think about 30,000 pounds per square foot. I cannot tell you how dangerous it is to speculate verbally in front of people. So here's a fairly common crack you might find, complete sagging and failure, defective movement. But what about the stain going down the siding right over here? We see issues with the siding. This is a different home where the siding is actually right down in the dirt. Here we have a relatively newer home, the top of a door or a window. People always ask me, well, how do you keep from being sued? Should the metal siding be bonded? and you need to use the proper terminology about this section right here. And the homeowner actually said to me, you know, I've never noticed that was like that. This is absolutely unsafe at any speed. Do not give repair advice. I wouldn't make a big deal out of this. We do have an adequate fall off. You can see the staining running down. Water is always our enemy, and as a home inspector, we need to be aware of that. But certainly point out to my client, when you have clients with children, say that four or more steps require a handrail. That's irrelevant to me because I'm not doing a code enforcement inspection. Anytime there's multiple steps, I want to see handrails because I personalize my inspection for people like my granddaughter and my handicapped son. And that's the beauty of being a home inspector. You get to go out, you get to look at everything, you get to write down all the problems, say, that'll be 300 bucks, thank you very much, to split, and everybody else takes care of the problems. You gotta love that kind of a job.